Hello and welcome back. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, Paint with Gloria. Now let's get started. Today we're painting this fort. Um, I painted this back in 2005, but we're just going to paint the fort, not the tree, not the people. So let's get started. Put that to the side for reference. We're going to start with the black. And it's going to be a black and white painting only. If you like, you can sketch it in. I'm just going to go ahead and paint it in with my black paint using my filbert brush. Actually, what? That, no, that's not a filbert. I'm sorry. That's an angle brush. So we're just going to fill it in. You can start small. It's always best to start small and make it bigger if you like. Just kind of designing my uh, points here so I know how long and how wide to do this. This is a very simple painting for the fact that um, it doesn't have much color except for the black and white. Um, and if you recognize this fort, uh, it's one of the forts in Puerto Rico, you know, San Juan. Very famous, very popular. And I've painted this fort quite a few times in color. If you go to my website on www.artist barreto.com that's barreto is spelled b-a-r-r-e-t-o and you can see the different paintings i have done but this is actually my first uh black and white painting of the fort so i hope you enjoy it i know i'm gonna do the fort um the rest is not planned because I'm not sure um, what I'm going to do as soon as I'm done with the fort. We might add something. We might not. We'll see. We'll take one step at a time. You do the same thing. One step at a time. Very slow. Shaping it up. As you can see, I'm still using my angle brush. Not sure if you heard the music or not in the background, but that was my husband listening to America's Got Talent. Had to tell him to lower the volume a little bit so that we can stay focused on what we're doing. If you want to sketch this in, feel free to sketch it in before you get started. Um, and like I said, I didn't sketch it in with pencil because I've done it quite a few times. And so I'm familiar with the shapes of the fort. And if you ever visit San Juan in Puerto Rico, make sure you go see the fort. It's beautiful. The view from above is just outstanding. It's awesome. Just fill it in, just fill it in. And 
and what you can do also is if you are um, if you want to do a colorful background you can you don't have to have it white you can do a couple of these do one with the sunset sunrise in the back do one with the blue skies some clouds you can do one a third of the painting and put some water there too so it's got different views when you're up there so you can get away with painting um, almost anything in the background so we're done with that so now i picked up my long filbert it's long and it also has a little point to it like a filbert shape Go slow and start small and expand according to your drawing with paint. I've done this um, Ford also using a palette knife. Now that's interesting. If you want to try that, that's all. So one day we'll do a painting um, using mostly um, a palette knife. As I paint this, I think of Puerto Rico and um, I miss it. I think it's going to be time to visit the island pretty soon. See our family and friends. It's been a couple years since we've been there. See here. I'm picking up half an inch flat brush. And I'm mixing it with the white. Now I'm getting some grays black and white to make the grays and let's do a tree here in the background just tap 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 let's not make it too big but large enough to know that it's a tree in the background. If you look at uh, pictures in um, on the web uh, site, um, actually, if you just Google it, you'll see uh, different uh, views from this fort and you'll see the water you'll see rocks you'll see the the trees you will see people you see a lot of different things so you paint according to what you like you notice i picked up my fan and i think we're gonna do a palm tree yeah here we go we're gonna do that one here. I, I guess I decided to do the palm tree leaves. Um, it was like a last minute thought, but I'm thinking maybe create a pretty curtain. And again, my focus is the fort. So we're just gonna put the palm right here. And if you want to try this in, in color, again, just follow, follow the pattern and just put color in it. Greens, light greens, yellows, grays and browns for the fort. There we go. I 
I can imagine this painting with the sunset in the background. I can just imagine it as I'm doing this. And if you beat me to it and you do it, send me a picture. I would love to see it. There you go. Doesn't take long to do a black and white picture. So um, start with this one and do some others if you like. Oh, actually, no, it's not. I forgot the birds. Let's do the birds. There you go. How many are we going to put in? So far we got two, three. Are we going to do another one? Hmm. I think not. Okay. Let's sign. You always want to sign your paintings. Don't forget to sign your paintings, especially if you sell them or give them as gifts. There you go. Don't forget to check out my channel for children. Kids Paint with Gloria. That's kids with K-I-D-Z. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, and give me thumbs up. There we go. The only way I'll be able to grow with my channels is with your support. So please subscribe. Here we go. Hope you enjoy that. See you on our next adventure. God bless. Adios, amigos.